Okay, in this video I want to talk about everything that you need to know about padding and margins in CSS. Uh, so I have a simple HTML file inside my main element. There's three paragraphs and right now there's no padding or margin on these paragraphs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, first of all, some margin. And I'm going to put the same value on all four sides. So let's use pixels to make it nice round numbers. And you can see now there's this little gap in between each of the paragraphs. This is 10 pixels here, and there's actually 10 pixels of margin on all four sides of every paragraph. Now, the value in between here for margin is actually only 10 pixels. Now, I've said the margin on the top and the bottom are both 10 pixels, but because they're overlapping and it's on the top and the bottom, the bigger of the two values wins out. If I was to change this to 20 pixels, there's 20 pixels on the top, 20 on the bottom, but they overlap when it's top and bottom. If they're sitting side by side, both margin values would be used. Now, this is one value for the margin, 20 pixels. Because I've given one value, it works on all four sides. Now, the alternative is that there are properties for, as you can see here, margin top, right, left, bottom, and I can do all four of them. I can give different values. So I can say top is going to be 10 pixels. Margin on margin on the right will be 20 pixels. Margin on the bottom is going to be 30 pixels. And we'll do 40 on the other side. Like that. OK. Now, this gap down here is actually 30 pixels. There's 10 on the top of this paragraph, but 30 on the bottom of this because the bottom is bigger, it wins out. And the value here is not a combination of the top plus the bottom, it is 40 pixels. Now this is a lot of typing, just to do four different values. We can, if we want, I'm just gonna comment this out, actually specify all four values, so do the exact same thing, but doing it here in one line. I can say 10 pixel, 20 pixel, 30 pixel, 40 pixel, and I get the exact same result. And that's because the browser understands if I provide one value, that's all four sides. But if I put four, this is top, right, bottom, left. So it will run clockwise around the element. Top, right, bottom, left. Those are the four values. Now, there are we can do one value, we can do two values. So 10 pixels would be all four sides. If I did 10 pixel, 20 pixel, only two values. This gets used for the top and the bottom. This gets used for the left and the right. So the first one is top, bottom, second one, left and right. This one is all four sides. Now this one with three values, it's also perfectly valid. But this one sometimes confuses people when they're first learning it. 10 pixel, we're still following this top, right, bottom, left, the four values. We're still gonna follow that order, top, right, bottom, left, going clockwise. This goes on the top, this goes on the right, this goes on the bottom, so we're going clockwise around. And then what happens is we run out of values for this last one. So this fourth value that is now missing, what the browser does is it goes back to the opposite side. Well, the opposite to the left is the right. So what was the value for the right? In our example, 20 pixels. That's what gets applied here. The last side, the right, would be 20 pixels. Same thing's happening here. It does 10, then it does 20, then it comes to the bottom and says, I don't have a value. Well, what's my opposite? 10? I'll use that. And then it comes around here. I don't have a value. What's my opposite? 20. I will use that. So this one uses 10 for the top, 20 for the right, 30 for the bottom, and then because it doesn't have another value, it comes back and says, okay, I'm going to put the left on there. So top, right, left, bottom. That's what you get for three. And padding 
works the exact same way. So margin is outside of the content area. It's beyond where the border would be. That's the gaps between. But this looks kind of ugly with the text touching the edge of where the background color is. So padding. If I did 10 pixels, all four sides. If I do two values, two values is top, bottom, left, right. If I do three values, top, right, bottom, left. So you can see that the bottom value here is 30. It's much bigger. We can make this even more obvious. And then let's do 80. So we've got 80 on the left, 80 on the right, 50 on the bottom, and 10 on the top. There are also values for padding top, padding right, padding bottom, padding left. Those are all possible values as well for us. And that's it. That's padding, margins, all those things. Padding right, padding bottom, and padding on the left. So we've got those four values as well, or we can just do it this. This is known as the shorthand. The margin shorthand and the padding shorthand. This is the way you will see the CSS written for padding and margins most of the time, is like this. Um, yeah, so that's all you really need to know. Margin is on the outside, so there's no background color. Vertical ones overlap. Padding is on the inside, so the background color for the content shows out into the area that is the padding. Hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.